was if you go to Vietnam, there were thousands of prisoners in that stockade. So many of them were brought from Latino youth from, the, from New York and New Jersey, who were all refusing to fight Wall Street's war. This is a different situation right now. We're using special operations so-called. These are nothing but mercenaries and CIA agents that they've, that they've taken into the Ukraine by the thousands. And so many of these people, these fascist thugs that attack the people in Odessa, they were organized by the CIA and by special operations troops from the U.S. Army. We all want another war. That's why we're out here today on this beautiful spring day in Washington Square Park. We are here to talk to you about what's going on in Ukraine and in Russia and in Syria and in other parts of the world where the United States is trying to start war. At the same time, they're starting these wars that are cutting every kind of social service you can imagine. Us in this park, maybe you in this park, your services are not being cut. But there are, are tens of millions of people who, who used to be middle class or who never were, who are having their benefits cut, their food stamps cut, housing subsidies cut. Every kind of service that the people are used to in this country is being, is being cut, and the money is actually going to Wall Street, it's actually going to fight new wars. We hear that the Pentagon budget has been slashed, but that is a lie. The Pentagon has the largest military budget of any country in the world. And the second is either Russia or China, and it's a, in, 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 in the United States is 10 to 20 times larger than these budgets. The United States.